Hi, I'm Jennifer Myers, and it's time for another Cunis Car Convo. Today I'm picking up Tammy Dunn from the Walworth County Food and Diaper Bank in this schnazzy 2024 Chevy Trax RX. <laughs> Thanks for joining me. Oh, thanks for having me. This is exciting. Okay, so, so a few fun. people think you're seeing a do-over. You kind of are. You kind of are. Yeah. Because we, we did a car combo for Das Fest. You did. I want live music. Where should I go? Das Fest. Oh, okay. I like to drink beer. Where should I go? <laughs> das Fest. Oh, okay. I like to people watch. Where should I go? Das Fest. Oh, which here. is not Oktoberfest, but a German festival. Right? Mm -hmm. In August. Was well, was in August, but now we're talking about mm -hmm. Halfway to Oktoberfest season, polka party for the pantry. The girl loves a German festival. I do love a German festival. I do. <laughs> and it is in my in my blood. Yes. So, um, okay, so first of all, we usually do these um, car combos and we talk about you know, you're talking about you and I'm asking you about you, right? Yeah. But this is the Walworth County Food Food and Diaper Bank. Right. And this is going to be a wee conversation. I love that. I do too. I love that. So, yeah. So this is my thing. Yeah. This is where I put my time and attention personally. Yeah. And I'm jam. so glad jam. that yes. you joined. <laughs> I'm so glad to be here. So Tammy, Best you came ever. on as the executive director in September. September. Mm -hmm. September 22nd. And holy cow, the changes in oh, four months. It's been it's wonderful. It's been so fun. Um, so rewarding. But, this is a 2024 Chevy Trax. Last time I picked you up in like a $90,000 Mercedes. Yes. <laughs> this one I actually appreciate a little more. Yeah. Because there's so few starter cars these days and this is on the lot for 23,000 brand new. There is wow. six miles on it. Unbelievable. It's nice. So this is a great, it's not the screen, it's very No, cool. backup camera, all the things you need. Yeah. Nice and safe. Give great me two hundred thousand miles. Yeah, yeah. Great, great start. Non-starter car. Non-starter car. Just non -starter great car. car. Exactly. Right? <laughs> exactly. But affordable. much more affordable. And... affordable. Yes. What a concept. Oh huh? <laughs> no. Yeah, I love it. Really okay. Cool. So we're talking today. Okay. About a lot of things. Mm -hmm. We're talking about the food and diaper bank, but we're also talking about our first big fundraiser we've had in a long time. Yeah. And I'm so excited about I it. I know. Me too. So tell us about me it. Me too. It's coming up March first. So it is March 1st, uh, Friday night, Celebration on Wells in Lake Geneva. Um, great venue, great event venue. And um, we are expecting, we're, we're, we have about 150 tickets sold already. And capacity is 225. So, so that's gonna go. Expecting a sellout. Uh, it is a polka party, because you know, we're halfway to Oktoberfest season. We're all getting a little antsy to put on our fancy shoes and dirndls and lederhosen and, <laughs> and drink some beer and have some rotwurst. Uh, so the polka party for the pantry, all po proceeds are gonna go to the Walworth County Food and Diaper Bank, which is also so cool. Um, we have your $25 admission ticket gets you the bratwurst buffet, which doesn't love a bratwurst Who doesn't love buffet. that? Right. And a meat raffle ticket, so who doesn't love a meat yeah. raffle? Right. Yeah. Um, the, the brats are coming from Lake Geneva Country Meats, so they're gonna be amazing. You know, yeah. they won awards in Germany. For you told me that before. Yeah. That's amazing. It's really cool. Right? They went over to Germany and they took the award. Yeah. yeah. So, um, what else? We're going to have, uh, we're going to have the, the band? Bratwurst Buffet. Well, that's the most exciting part. It is. Like, you would pay 25 just for the band. You would. You would absolutely. So, it's like the brats are a bonus. Right. Brats yeah. are bonus yeah. brats. So, uh, it is the Alex Meixner Band coming up from Texas, and they were the headliner at Das Fest for yeah. three years. Uh, Alex is... I, he, he's just a one of a kind. First of all, he's a gem. He's just a really super guy. But then he um, he is Grammy nominated, um, inducted into the International Polka Hall of Fame. He is the music behind Jack Black's Polka King, the movie The Polka King. Uh, he is he plays the band it, together can sing in fourteen languages. 
Seriously. Seriously, and Alex plays like a dozen instruments. But the thing that people don't get is it's a show. It's You think like, oh, I'm going to hear this boom pop pop polka music. No. Oh, no. No. Uh-uh. The guy's he, like sweating bullets and everything. He's just not a... Yeah. 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 And he plays um, yeah. Ozzy Osbourne's Crazy Train, his own rendition. That's why wouldn't you? He can play Amazing Grace on a garden hose. The dude is just... He's, so this guy he's smacks... Got to see him. All the people, like... Okay, playing accordion, honestly, like, we're probably the youngest people who would have known that you know like it's like our age or older who yeah. played accordion yeah and he kind of smacks everybody who ever made fun of an accordion geek oh absolutely yeah. you know what he can play the accordion and trumpet at the same time and his saxophone player will play uh, how two do, saxophones at the same hands? time I don't get that. yeah oh no it's it, you have to you just have to see it it's a great performance people are gonna have a blast and we're gonna have a silent auction and it is just going to be a great time. Yes. So March 1st, March Celebration 1st. on Wells, which yes. is a great a great venue. Yep. And they're helping us out quite a bit. They're not charging us for the space or anything right. like that, which is yeah. such a blessing. Yeah. And yeah. Lake Geneva Country Meets are donating the food, donating yeah. the breasts. Yeah. yeah. So it's a great community event. Love we this. Should, we should really um, do well and, and make some money for the food and diaper bank, which um, is there such a need? There, there is, is such, a, such need. a need. There is such a need. And the nice thing about, so a lot of people think that you donate to a food a food bank and you donate food, like you clear out your pantry and these things have been sitting there for six months and you're not gonna eat it yet, you know? Which we love and that's, it's valuable, that's okay. right? right? But every dollar given, we can stretch so much farther than a consumer can. Correct, because of our purchasing power. Yeah. So because we get the food from Hunger Task Force, Feeding America, uh, Pritzloff meets Marchese produce like we have we have buying power so for every dollar that someone gives us we can turn it into seven dollars which is great which yeah. is amazing it is that's incredible so I kind of love both of it like you know you give dollars and you get your tax free funds and everything and you do more good but it's also you, you can also go to Aldi's and give your kid forty dollars and show them the value of sharing and giving yes absolutely. you know absolutely yeah and, and the one thing that um, I love to talk about is the food pantry versus the food and diaper bank because so many people ask, like, why do we have two two names? Right, <laughs> why are right, you the right. Walworth yeah. County Food Pantry and the Walworth County Food and Diaper Bank? And the the answer is, as a food pantry, we're serving people who are in need of food. They're facing food insecurity. Right. They're hungry. And as a food and diaper bank, we're a warehouse. We have a loading dock, we have a uh, freezer box truck, we have the walk-in freezers and walk-in coolers and a whole basement storage facility. So we supply almost a dozen other pantries and uh, places. We help to supplement their food so that they're never going to run out. They can come to us, we give milk, we give if right. we have extra hamburger meat. Right. And sometimes there are... There's a couple that are well-funded who need our dock and everything, so yeah. we might not supply them directly every month, but we at least help facilitate their operation. Correct. So they yeah. can receive their Feeding America orders at our dock right. once a month, and then they can come and pick the, they can pick them up off of the pallets. Um, but even them, we we still will give them. Um, we will still share with them when they need um, extra frozen right. meats or especially the milk. Yeah, and the milk is kind of hard to get, and we have the hookup. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's is great. Nice. It's yeah. a great operation. You have to see it. You, you, until you walk through that facility, you really can't grasp how how massive it is and how much help it's giving. Truly, truly. Yeah. So we are nearly all volunteer run. We are not. Mm -hmm. You are not a volunteer. You are a paid professional doing amazing work. Um, and some people, some people shy away from that. They want an all volunteer organization, yeah. but. Me being on the board for I think eight years now, mm -hmm. it's not sustainable. No, nope, right? It's not. It isn't. Nope. I mean, it's wonderful when you can do it, mm -hmm. but we we you burn people out, right? It's their passion. Yeah. Um, so I'm so thrilled to have you with us because we're really setting the future pace for the pantry, Great. so that we can tell the county we will be here forever. Yeah, sustainability. It's yeah. Every, so the Sharon Food Pantry just closed last summer. And so because they lost their person. Yeah, and so and I just got a call the other day from a senior couple who you know has just been lost. And where can where Ooh. can we go? Can do they not drive? So they're yeah. 
And share so, it's kind of a haul for me. And it's kind of a haul. So now they found somebody that can come as and service awesome. their proxy and pick up for them. Yeah. Awesome. So mm -hmm. let's address the name Walrus County. We are not a government organization. We are not. No, yeah. we are private private yes. donations. Um, yes. that's how we're funded. Right. We we're not getting money from the government. We're not a county uh, food and diaper bank. So. Now it gets a little funny because there are some things that are kind of government um, programs. So if you were to come to us and you didn't meet the financial standards, mm -hmm. there's some things we're not supposed to, we're not allowed to give you, Good. but we can still, we can still help. Care. Yeah. We can still help, yeah. but there are government commodities that we receive right. where you have to um, verify your income and be income eligible. So it gets a little tricky. Gets but I want to talk about that too, mm -hmm. because I think some people are choosing, are just hitting a hard time. Like maybe you're, you know, you had a big, your, your furnace went out and there's this and the whatever and you're just all smacked with a dozen. You were doing fine mm -hmm. and now mm -hmm. you're like, how are we going to make it till March? Yeah. Yeah, right? so, absolutely. So one of the things, Jen, that su not surprised me, but when I dug into the numbers a little bit, we're serving um, about 500 households every month, but they're not, they can come, they can come once a month and right. they get enough food for about two weeks. Right. We are not seeing the same household month after month after month. Right. They're coming and going. And so, to your point, there are times where it's just, you know, somebody's having a hard um, a hard time. They're, they fall into that ALICE population, right? Uh -huh. So you know the ALICE, the, the ALICE is an acronym for asset limited, so they don't have a lot of stuff, income constrained, so they don't have a lot of money, employed. Yeah. They're working. Right. They're working yeah, two, right. three jobs, but they're they're living day to day, right? Not paycheck to paycheck, right? Day to day. So tomorrow, car breaks down, kid breaks arm, puts you in a tailspin. You are in. Yeah. You, you, yeah. you don't really have the money for either, right? And then, uh, so being <clears throat> in, in the car dealerships, I like it gets worse like you start tumbling downhill you yeah. miss a couple payments now your credit's bad now you can't get the good car loan now you're it's 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 it, a bad situation yep so i know that if there's one thing you can shout from the rooftops is say drop your pride it's not a big deal yes. to go to the food pantry once well or said. twice well said you yep. know um it's okay it's okay it's all it's right. really okay um you don't have to tell your friends and neighbors or you can because or you we're, can. we're a cheerful, non-judgmental place, or you and we're can, just here. To, we're just neighbors yeah. helping out we, neighbors. If yes. you need help, let us help. Right, yeah. and if you can, if we can take a little bit of pressure off the valve, yes. and you know, you can yeah. not have to make a choice of rent or car payment or food. Right, right, food. Yeah, um, you think about what what do we all turn to when we have a friend who is going through a crisis? A meal. You know. Hot meal. Hot meal. I mean, there's actually, like, um, sites that you can go to, right, to sign up to bring a hot meal sure. to your friend. Yeah. It's, it's not an embarrassing thing. No. It's not. So, please. Yeah. If you're in that situation, if your family's in that situation, if, uh, you know what, I have a lot of um, friends with elderly parents in the area who are living on their Social Security check who, you know, uh, honestly, that generation isn't going to ask for help if they don't think they need it. Like, there's, and there often is somebody worse off, right? Mm hmm, mm -hmm. But yeah. there's a lot available to seniors, especially if you're only on Social Security. Yeah. And again, no shame. We're not filling the pantries, but we can help take the pressure off. Absolutely. I know many older adults who are like, well, I don't need to go to a food pantry. You know, it's not that bad. But they're they also have nothing skipping in their a week cupboard. of medicine a week because they yeah. can't. And the other thing yeah. that we can help with is those incontinence products. Yes. For, for, sure. for older adults. Crazy yes. expensive. They are so expensive. And, um... So, so yeah, we're here. We're here to help, and definitely want to help our older generation um, where we can. We have senior boxes, so that is an income qualifier. But mm -hmm. if they meet that, most do, then they get an extra box of food every right. month, which is really kind of staples. Like, yeah, isn't it like pastas juice and, and, oil and juice? And, 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 yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Boost, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a great. It's a great place. There are so much good that comes out of there. And guys, sorry, let's talk about period products. Yeah, right. Okay, so one in five girls don't go to school because when they have their period because they don't have any supplies. That was shocking to me. Yeah. I mean, I didn't grow up with a lot of money, but I grew up 
always fed and clothed. Mm -hmm. I, mm -hmm. That never occurred to me. No. And it's also, you have mothers who are going to buy baby diapers first before they buy period supplies for themselves. Think about that. Yeah. Right? Um, I had a very interesting call. Um, a gentleman who uh, needed help has two young daughters, and they're going to benefit from the period supplies. Wife is going to benefit from the period supplies. And then asked if we had um, incontinence products. Because it's not a really young. I'm like, yeah, we do. Yeah. Um, he said, he said, well, I'm epileptic, so sometimes, you know, when the seizures are really bad, I need those. Wow. And wow, so you never know who needs right. what, and it's no big deal. Like, we, that's what we're there for. And yeah. it feels really good to be able to provide that for, for a range of people. Yeah, and we have fresh produce. Oh my gosh. So a lot of times, like, in my head, I think, right. I used to think food pantry, I thought, you know, dented cans. Right. You know. <laughs> Expired. Taped together, together bags of rice. Stuff. Yeah, right. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Right, it's not back that. together. It's not <laughs> no. that. I've worked in the back when you're filling up um, the cars with stuff. And I remember that there was a first time mom once who was so embarrassed. I, she was mortified that she was there, which she shouldn't be, but yeah, that's just the emotion, right? It's emotion. Um, and I was filling up her car and she's like, she kept bringing out this whole cart and it's, it was a full trunk of food. Mm -hmm. You know, I think she had four or five kids and so it was frozen meats, it was we had eggs and milk. We don't always have eggs, but we had eggs that month, mm -hmm. that week, and a ton of groceries. And she was just weeping. She's like, I did not expect this. Yeah. I thought you were going to give me a box of beans. Yeah. You know, yeah. and, and that would be yeah. great. But right. And I'd be happy with yeah. beans. But there, here's, there's, we, we get um, donations from Simple for, for their bread. So yeah. we're able to offer Simple bread. We're able to right. offer um, Quick Trip is is we receive a lot from Quick Trip, which I love. Their the frozen sandwiches are so great, especially for right. kids on the weekends or yeah. after school, whatever. And it's so we, um, yeah. It, and then the produce. So it's about it's about the the healthy eating as well. You should you know how that really looks when when you when it transforms on right before distribution days and yeah. it's so colorful yeah so basically can we walk through like what somebody should expect if they're a guest going in there you walk you, you kind of line up in the parking lot because we don't have a lot of space inside right but they they'll walk into the building into a produce room yeah 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 the first thing they do is they they'll check in with one of our screeners um, our readers and so they'll check in and then once they've done that they'll they'll be asked if they need any incontinence products period supplies baby diapers anything like that sometimes cat or dog food not always. sometimes very pretty rare but yeah. sometimes yes yeah. yeah and then they'll then they'll be able to shop with one of our fresh market hostesses in the fresh market and there's carrots um, broccoli, potatoes, apples, or you name it, bananas. Yeah. It's just, it's a wonderful start. We love it. There are funny weeks. Love I was there, it. I was working as a, a screener one week, and for some reason, this was, I think, last summer, last fall, there were cases and cases of figs. Oh, <laughs> figs, <laughs> figs. Sometimes that happens. And, um, yeah, like, so all of us volunteers were like, I didn't know you could just eat a fig. They were wonderful, right? So we're selling the figs, right? Yeah, yeah. The very last person that came in, she came in, she's like, oh my gosh, you have figs. And we're like, yes, we do. And this woman would buy figs whenever she could get them oh, and dry them funny. and that's love funny. them. So it is funny that, oh my gosh. like you, yeah. it's funny how there are things that are just in time for somebody, you know? Yeah, that's true. You never know. You never know what people yeah. are, what, what they're... But so anyway, I'm sorry, most. I interrupted. No, so you'll check no, in. No, no, so you, you made me. You were. Th I was, yeah. You made me think about the bananas because we always have bananas, and and sometimes sometimes they're they're getting pretty, you know, near black, and um, so we put out banana res banana bread recipes. Oh sure, right, which is so yeah. so fun. And then somebody said, "Oh, I wish I had flour." And I was like, "Ah." Oh. Right, you think that everybody has flour and sugar in their cupboards, and they don't. So yeah. anyway, anyway, but stay tuned because we're gonna find a way to get flour. Yeah. Um. But yeah. So they'll go to the fresh produce, then they go back out to their car with their bags of of veggies and fruit, and then they'll drive to the back, where they get that humongous bag of 
non-perishables, mm -hmm. cereal, you know, granola bars, etc. Then they get a big bag of canned items, and then they get a bag of frozen meats. Yeah, and then often milk, often milk, often eggs, often extra bread. Yeah, bread. Some of that's always bread. On what we always in. we yeah. always make sure we they get bread. Uh, yeah, it's just really cool. It's awesome. Really cool. Yeah. So I do want to address this. There was an article, today is February 13th, because this doesn't always come up on February 13th, so just for reference. Okay. Um, last week, there was an article in the Elkhorn Independence about our future plans. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we're not really ready to talk about that, but we are in a small, wonky building. Yeah. And there are things, we make it work wonderfully, but there are things we'd love to do. Mm -hmm and we need more space, and that'll be more funding. Yeah, yeah, it's it's exciting. It's really an exciting time. And mostly, Jen, you know, people like you, who are have volunteered for years and committed to the, the board and in so many ways to the Food and Diaper Bank, we have over 100 volunteers. And so that's a pretty big operation, right? Yeah. Um, that's. We are serving 500 households a month. That's a pretty, pretty big operation. And we need to sustain it. And we can also do so many more things. Right. And there's so much we could, we could do. Oh, if seriously. We had you and I get together and we like, the capacity, we could fill up a notebook of what we want to do. <laughs> or two. You know, or two. or two. You probably have. Uh, you probably have a bookcase. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so many ideas. Uh, but where we're at right now, no, it is not. Um, it was the old Aurora Doctors Clinic, so it's definitely made for for doctors' offices. Right. And you know, so now there's like this this office has canned beans, and this this little right. section has, um, you know, a pallet of this, or you know, the the baby diapers are in this closet, and the incontinence in this right. closet. So right, right, right. I, I think the biggest thing is we're touching. It's our efficiency. We're touching things too many times before they sure. get to the to the person and to our guests and we need to we could serve more people if we had more space yeah more i mean space, i mean truly if mind. we our heart is that anybody that walks in on those two days we're open thursdays and fridays now yeah thursday afternoons friday morning right um if, if there were 800 families that needed our help we would love to fill every truck yeah um yeah. we're we're filling 500 about 500 a month and um, we're kind of running out of produce at the end of every week. Oh, we are. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So we are That's kind of landlocked too. in a building and yeah. funding and everything. So we, right. our heart is to grow and just serve anybody. To serve, to serve more of the people who are falling in that Alice population. Yeah, or right. Maybe, maybe they are. They, they think, well, I don't qualify or. You know, right. I would just need it, you know, this month, just till I can get back on my feet and catch up on my rent. Those are the people we really need to reach, and especially when it comes to kids. Kids will do better in school. People do better at their jobs. Totally. Yeah. Food is everything. Yeah. yeah. You know, there's that old adage, like, um, feed a man to fish, or, you know, give a, a, give a man a fish, a, they're, they're hungry, or they're teach a man to fish, then he's... We are not right. good at this. We're not good. Yeah, no. Like, you know what I'm talking about, right? But, that. The, but the point of that, that, though, yeah. is... Yeah. Nobody's going to learn how to fish if they're hungry. Right. Yeah. So, um, you know, just taking that scarcity off the plate, that one worry off the plate is yeah. a huge worry. Yeah, well, you know what? Yeah. How would we look at it this way? We're giving them the worms to put on their hooks Absolutely. so that they can fish. Or even, you know, it, right. I mean, kids, if, you, if you're not giving your kids a great breakfast, yeah. it, you are really focused on your hungry stomach, not on the math oh. lesson. You yeah, know? And, and you know what? You, when we talk about things that we could do, I, I have like this dream of opening up a year-round toy room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At an an, an in building in our, you know, right. hopefully new building. And what I mean by that is a room where not just at Christmas time, but year-round, if a child has a birthday coming up, the parent can go and shop for a toy. Absolutely. And and wouldn't be cool too though if there were like little presents for mom and dad so yes. that the kid can contribute absolutely yes or grandparents right. can come and get a toy for their grand yeah grandkid but here's the here's the biggest one that I this is why I wanted to do this so badly is I was thinking about kids that get invited to birthday parties yeah and 
maybe they don't even see the invitation, you know, right? I mean, that the parents, parents don't. They're, can't afford to. Yeah, so the kids don't even bother asking. Yeah. Or it's, yeah. you know, it's that embarrassment in, in right. class. If we can take the edge off of that stuff, absolutely, we're doing good. Yeah, if the kids can bring the birthday treat. Yeah. If the, yeah, all those sort of yep. things. And those yeah. seem so trivial, but they're really important. They really are important. You know, it's important to fit in and feel like you're not standing out. Yeah, and, like, and you're not stress. a problem or a burden or a stress. Yeah. I'm telling you, I have watched mothers come into the pantry with their kids and they're trying to keep them you know like don't don't get don't get squirrely right like yeah, stand, right, stand right, still right, stand right, here right. and you you see the stress sure you feel well, you and I both the have stress kids when they yeah. were little you're like that yeah. you know what I mean and and yeah. on top of it they're they're wondering how they're gonna put gas in their car tomorrow and they've got all yeah. these other worries and then I'll see one of our volunteers just go and grab a cookie and come over and give a kid a cookie. And everything just goes, oh, okay. 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 We're, okay. Right. We're safe. We're all right. Yeah. We're right. all right. Great. We're going to be okay. Yeah. Okay. I also want to talk about, you touched on our volunteers. Yes. They're amazing. Dang. People. I almost don't want to name any of them because I, I all of them it is are all amazing. Of them. It is all of them. The kindness is crazy 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 and the like once you engage them and ask them for more oh my gosh <laughs> yeah yeah for it's sure it's like you come but i do want to name one person okay carl gustafson what would we do without him oh i have no oh. idea i have no idea yeah he is he he lives breathes eats sleeps that place and he's he's always there to receive the the um the truckloads and yeah he keeps it so carl works in the back uh-huh so he He's our operations orders guy. the food, receives the food, organizes the food, helps with the volunteers. Um, kind of breaks the rules because Carl would not let anybody be hungry. But no, that's okay. He will not. <laughs> he is, that's his motto. His no one goes Nobody hungry. Nobody goes hungry. He'll, he'll be like, "You remember what I say?" I'm like, yes, we all remember what you he say. will no figure it out. Hungry. He will. We have a coffee mug that we made for him that says, "No one goes hungry." Yeah. And then, if lost, please return this mug to Carl. Yeah. That happens a lot. Everybody knows that. Yeah. Um, he's, he's really a wonderful person, and and you're right. We do. It's hard to point one person out because it really is. A team of people but there are some leaders in the building yeah. that are leading the team that are giving extra effort um, and Carl's definitely one of them um, he is he's a guru back there um, but we have you know Kathy um, Kathy has taken on the, the role of, of screeners and coordinating yeah. that whole mm -hmm. um, intake process uh, Her husband John works in the back. John works you know. in the back, yeah. right? I mean, there's just so many. I, if I started naming, it would be. Seriously, yeah, I could. And we, we could just. Keep we would be driving to Florida, Florida yeah. which is not a bad which idea. Which is not bad. This kind of cold to take it. Yeah, it could. <laughs> I like this car. It's very comfortable. It is really comfortable. It's got a lot of leg room. A ton of leg no, room. Seriously. What else do we need to talk about? Oh gosh, I don't. I think we covered so much. Okay, so the most important, th not the most important thing, but. The pressing thing is March 1st at Celebration on Wells. You can yep. check it out at um, wcfdb.org. So walworthcountyfoodpantry.org. Yeah. There's um, It comes up right on the front page, or you can click on events, and it'll take you to the ticket link or... Yes. Um, this will be a great, fun party. Mm -hmm. And if you're Irish and you're thinking, no, 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 March is for St. Patrick's Day, we are not <laughs> intruding. <laughs> no, we are not. Because I know... We can enjoy beer on March 1st and on March 17th. Oh, absolutely. Or just the and month where of March German colors could be quite on the March celebration. 1st and, and green, green on, the 17th. on the 17th. We can do that. We can. We are not intruding on the Irish no. with the German fest, are we? <laughs> no, we are not. No, it's we are not. Halfway to the season, you know. Exactly. We've got to celebrate. Exactly. So March 1st, March 1st. celebration on Willis, $25 a person. Yeah. Extra donations are certainly appreciated. Absolutely. All of the proceeds go to feeding people in Walworth County, feeding yeah. people, yeah. diapering kids. Yeah, period supplies and condensed products, the whole thing. It's going to doing, it's going to do some really good work. All of that. All of that, so, keeping our county strong. Yes, mm -hmm. so if you're in Walworth County and you're looking for an organization to support, personally, I like this one the best. Yeah, pretty, no offense to your other yeah. people. Yeah, right, there, we have a lot of good nonprofits, but I'm, I'm with you. 
this yeah. one's, this one's always been special. If you're not in Walrus County, though, check out your local food pantry or your local food bank. Mm -hmm. um, bigger banks like Feeding America and everything aren't really helping people. They're helping banks. Right. They're helping other pantries. Right. Yeah. Or supplier. So check your, you know, if you like what you said, like we said, but you're not in Walworth County, check out your local food pantry because they're probably doing a lot of the same thing. Absolutely. And the need is everywhere. Yeah. Don't be There's, afraid to ask for yeah. help. Yeah. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Bye. Bye.